How do I be? How do I fight myself? First, I see myself as an honest person. I see my, myself also as one a very stuff person. Be very stuff. I also despise lies and people that lie. I see myself also as somebody that figure out something and don't follow the mess up blindly. I see myself as somebody without one double standard. I have one standard. I have no standard for uh, different for family members or one standard different for myself or one standard different for somebody else. If you, if I say something, I truly mean it. Uh, at least if I not say they it been a joke or it been obvious that it been a joke. I've also a very weird kind of, of uh, humor. Maybe I have get it from uh, my time in school. I being bullied, I being misused by my uh, some of my teachers that like to attack me and also some of my classmates. If I see injustice, I can say you that's injustice. I can recognize it with absolutely surety. I see myself as somebody that can make maybe you angry. But I have a reason if I make you angry. Why I make you angry. I mean also somebody that not have to be agree for 100% on one topic to support what somebody say. I like to make my own conclusions. This is why if I sometimes say it is good to have uh, wide open ears and listen to what anybody has to say. But when being to make a decision for yourself, you have to weigh anything on as well and place it where it belongs and put the shit out and put the stuff in. I have also no an ego. If the fact has been there and I've been wrong. If the if I, if I truly be wrong, I don't go to lie about it. That's the reason that I've been the that I've not made one of that in my eyes a very bizarre excuses that a lot of meat dairy neck eaters make from protein or vitamin B12 or beef. Actually, a lot of you <laughs> can understand that you make such weird excuses. For eating let me be true corpses. Be you walking that <laughs> I like also uh, very sweet uh, food dates. It's one of my most favorite food. 
I can sometimes be very hard. And if I have something in my heart, mostly nobody can change that. At least, but that's not something common. Even not being uh, stupid, it's just stupid. I stand always open for suggestions if it makes sense. If there being one bit of logic in it, I can be. Also, I can also be very kind if I want. Sometimes I'd be not so kind because I'd be frustrated. Other times I'd be very friendly. I'd be just a true person. Maybe sometimes you think I'm in pushback or something like that. But if you think that, think also then about this. Being I totally in a pushback or is it something that you think? Also, before you say something, think also. And give a reason. Without a reason. <sighs> what you say doesn't make any sense. <laughs> then you don't can help anybody. An absolute meeting. Not uh, the one where you talk to. I mean, not all is political correct. And I have a video also um, in the description and then we'll end of the video where I talk about the topic of political correctness. So if you want that, you can click the link in the description below. We'll go to the end of this video. And Check that out. I'm really not a human supremacist. There was a video about it. Human supremacist uh, is actually I believe that humans being is actually the standard, the doctrination that humans be more important and more intelligent by definition of than any other animal. I truly think that. Thinking that mental retarded people being more intelligent than big chicks can say other animals. Or something like that. Or thinking that it's a justification to eat them. Is it not that being can suffer? And that them being the reason to not harm them? Something so bloodless to me. Go just vegan. Eat beans, lentils, legumes, rice, and a lot of other stuff. Come to adapt.org. Animals deserve absolute protection today and tomorrow. The website of Gary Rowski. Also a link in the description below. And check out the recipe section. Or check my other channel, I also have also a cooking channel. And you can choose it. There's no excuse actually. For not becoming vegan. I 
It is not moral morality that you eat animals. Just like there is no morality in cannibalism. Morality can only come from compassion. And is it compassionful to pay somebody else? To hang animals upside down on the slaughterhouse floor and cut their throat? Or artificial inseminate them? But being actually living is one for rape. And that's what the dairy industry called them, the things themselves. Put the, they say so, themselves, they put the animals in a rape rack. It's not a term that we vegans have made up. Vegans don't wear anything that comes from animals or eat anything that comes from animals. Veganism is not a diet, it is a lifestyle. And the lifestyle of veganism is to reduce the amount of suffering to an absolute no way. That there be no suffering anymore. What's the problem with costing the least amount of harm possible on this planet? I can also sometimes be a little bit Frustrated. Um, when I mean frustrated, I mean actually a little bit more harsh than I've been uh, on the moments. I like also to wear wigs sometimes. I was also on a YouTube channel. Um, the Earthlings Nemesis, actually, that's my comedy channel. There I make comedies where I sometimes, if I have something on the internet, one funny discussion with somebody, I like to, I want to act it out and make a one sketch from. So. You can see the, the other excuses that I get from people in some of my inbox <laughs> or on other channels. So also funny. I also being extremely honest. I'm being brutally honest. At least I try to. I hate lies um, and I hate manipulation. I'm being rather true to myself. And encourage the ridicules of others than lying. And encourage my own accords. So if if you have questions anymore about me, put them in the description below. And I see you next time. Forget not to subscribe, hit the bell, and nice. um, subscribe to my other channels. I hope that you like this video. Later, M Mirror Army. <laughs>